All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashimi Habashai, Bashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word. It's asserting the truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I uh, just saw this on the feed. All right, this is from the Dabu's page. And this is a report which is going on in Austin, Texas. All right. It says, warning, Austin police defunded. Enter at your own risk. You know, so it's happening. You know, they talked about defunding the police. We're getting nearer and nearer to the election day. I believe that's November 4th. And um, as the scriptures say, the vision is yet appointed for that time. So this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And right, and what is that vision? That vision is the prophecies. Okay, there's a process to these prophecies. One thing happened, and then it, you know, it leads up to the next. You know, well, once they start pouring in, once this civil unrest, okay, and the force, let's say, well, the force of the RFID microchip, then everything's just gonna come fast, man. You know, so I'm gonna play a little bit of the video, you know, because. This is prophecy, man. This is going to lead to prophecies being fulfilled, which I want to read in 2nd Edges 15. So let's play the video. This is Dabu7. And this situation right here is showing exactly what's going on in America. In, in just this one city of Austin, you can see here the police taking action with billboards, using this to get their message across, stating that if you enter this area, passing the billboards, you are entering an area that puts you at your own risk because there's not going to be police there to help you. Since these defunding the police things won't go on, well, there's no police to get paid. And then that means when people come in to rob people and to do all this stuff and the cops get called, no one shows up. So this is also why in this region, the sale of guns have gone through the roof ammo through the roof they also have a secondary sign up it says limited support the next 20 miles okay and these signs were erected after the city council slashed the austin police department's budget in august so this is what's happening as the dominoes fall these actions take place on the ground level so when people in austin get robbed are in a car wreck, their house is on fire, getting robbed, who knows what. When police do not show up in these instances, they cannot say why. Because it's obvious why. Everything that's happening here, you're letting them defund them, of course, then they're not going to be there to protect anybody. This is why gun sales are going through the roof. What about all the people out there that can't have a gun? All the felons in this and that, those that aren't, aren't supposed to be around firearms. Hmm. They're supposed to just go unprotected? Do you see the situation that this sets up? Yep. All right, like he said, you see the situation that this sets up. You know, civil unrest, lawlessness. And the scriptures talk about that. You know, something big is going to happen, man. Okay? Which is prophecy. You know, telling what Esau got, you know, got up his sleeve. Or let's say Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy for these Edomites to uh, for these Edomites to act out on their agenda. You know, it's going to bring forth what? It's going to bring forth fulfilling of prophecy. You know, um, Second Edges 15. It says uh, 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So what is faithful and true? The prophecies of the Lord. Okay, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. They're pushing the agenda of vaccination, you know, so that they can gradually bring you toward this economy of um, a cashless economy. All right, where basically everything will be used digitally. All right. And um, the shortage of coins, you know, it's all... It's all in gear for um, 
for, for you to take that chip they're putting the system in place basically giving life to the image of the beast which is the system so it says fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee and there's a lot of minions demons all right that speak against us by bringing out these prophecies it says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness all right so if you don't got the gift of faith from the most high then guess what you're gonna die in your unfaithfulness all right it says behold say of the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction all right so plagues is not just you know diseases you know like this fake scandemic pandemic of this uh c19 virus okay it is official virus but it's not as made out the way they talk about it people are not dying from it you know and plagues are real when the most high send them but he says what of sword famine death and destruction that sword represents your modern day gun famine represents a lack of food and water death all right is you dying okay and destruction is you dying of what a grievous death okay so that's the plagues that's being sent all right it says for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled and you 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 definitely can see the uh the exceedingly polluted excuse me the wickedness that have exceedingly polluted the whole earth you know starting with these edomites and their um what you call their um democracy their policies their mannerism and ways of life if not it's not just here in babylon but it's going across the face of the earth all right their sex their, their wicked sexual prefaces man fornication all right it says therefore saith the lord i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will i suffer them in those things so the most high is about to put an end to the wickedness it says in which they wickedly exercise themselves so wickedness is being exercised man to its perfection that's why the lord has a, a great slaughter okay for two-thirds of his people and he also has a, a, a sacrifice, okay, which is for Edom, all right, here in Babylon the Great. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's why you see the prophets out here speaking, bedtime, man, day and night, in season, out of season, complaining. As uh, also a pre precept scripture say, uh, they cry uh, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So the souls of the just are complaining continually all right and more and more cries and prayers gonna go go up because why is you know everything is getting more harder it's gonna be a harder way it's gonna be a harder uh, uh life to live okay with all these restrictions and draconian laws all right and if the fear of uh uh, uh the uh slaughter this this civil unrest that's going to take place all right sedition among men as we're going to get into Cause that's what this leading up to you know this happening in uh it says austin texas i'm pretty sure the brothers out there and elders out there in uh in dallas you know uh probably know more about it could get into it because that's you know they out there that's their uh lot right and um they're defunding the police this not only gonna happen there it's gonna happen across all america this is what this stupid ass black lives matters was set up for all right, which was set up by George Soros, all right, and his uh, minions, his millionaires, you know, his gates, you know, putting out money, funding these uh, groups like Antifa and Black Lives Matters, you know, to play some type, sort of uh, rebellion. It was really to, uh, you know, to, to put you in more captivity, you know, to take away the rights that you so-called have, all right? It says, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them behold my people was led as a flock to the slaughter i will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of egypt now egypt goes back to what bondage because we are in the land of bondage we're still in captivity this is not talking about old egypt it's talking about modern day egypt and that's babylon all right it says but i will bring them with the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite egypt with plagues as before key word there that's how you know it's not talking about ancient Egypt, okay? It says, and smite Egypt with plagues as before 
and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment of Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fell through the blasting in hell and with a fearful constellation. Woe to you, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. You see, so the sword and destruction is drawing closer and closer. All right, defunding the police is gonna bring anarchy. All right, it reminds me of the movie Purge. All right, and what and with those movie Purge, they always constantly doing it around election year. All right, you know the election time. So you know it's going down, man. Expect the unexpected. All right. Anyway, it says for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, so this is the people standing up against the people standing up against their government. All right, and then also it says invading one another. So this is people going against themselves. All right, going against other people. That's, that's what you call civil unrest. It says, they shall not regard their kings. Who's the kings? The government, all right? Uh, uh, right now, the king of Babylon is, is uh, Donald Trump. Nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, now in this report, it says, Austin police defunded, enter at your own risk. So going into this city, okay, in this particular city, he said, pass this billboard, you're really going, you're entering at your own risk. You basically have to defend yourself. He said, uh, the uh, guns, guns are going up. Everybody's buying guns. These, there's another report showing you a lot of, it said, what, 20% of the American army, uh, certain guys that was trained by the uh, American, so the American army are actually into these militia groups. So these militia groups are growing and growing, all right? So it says, um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Yeah, grown men going to be afraid, man. All right. So how much more you women? It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for a great tribulation. This is going to bring great tribulation. All right. If you can't defend yourself and have an army, a team. Or let's say if you ain't got your how about shimmy I was shy, then it's gonna bring what? Great tribulation upon you. Alright, and great fear. You know, you can might go grocery shopping and you know your neighbors see that you got food and things of that nature, and here it is, they gang up and uh run down uh in, into your house and rob you, man. Because they know that you don't have any protection. So things are heating up, man. This is just the beginning, like like El Deposito Har said. This is the beginning of Jacob's trouble. All right. These are the signs, man. Okay. It says, um, verse 20, Behold, say of Yahweh, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun and from the south, from the east, in Lebanon, and turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. All right. So, you know, that was basically the point I wanted to bring out. All right. Hopefully this lesson is edifying. All right. I'll leave a link to Dabu's uh, report here you know uh, warning Austin police defunded enter at your own risk so you see the vision is yet appointed for its time man alright so hopefully you were edified want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone salutations to the Lord's elect Shalom